Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to show you my fifth journal page and how I made it. So first of all, as you can see, I've taken a few pages out from my book. I'm now using my matte medium to stick the pages together. So now I am adding a layer of white gesso to prime my pages. So now I am using my matte gel to stick some scrap bits of different papers onto my page. I probably didn't need to add the gesso to the page beforehand but I tend to do that weeks before I actually make the videos. So as you can see I'm just using different scrap pieces of decorative paper to cover the whole page. So once the matte gel is completely dry I am now using my Faber-Cascal Pit Pen Sepia and I am going round the edges of each piece of paper and using my finger to blend out the ink to make shading. Next I am using my white gesso watered down to blend out the background so it's not as bright. I then leave this to dry out. Next I am using some tissue paper with a Tim Holtz stencil called Measured. I am using my modelling paste to smooth over the top and then you just scrape away the excess. So now I'm using a Cosmic Shimmer embossing powder which I am putting over the top of my wet modelling paste and you then have to leave it to dry overnight. So now that my page is completely dry I'm using my distress paints to add some colour to the page and I'm just using my finger to blend in the colour. So now I'm using my archival ink pad, Jet Black, on an old uh, border stamp that I've had in my stash for a while. I'm stamping this onto tissue paper. So now it's the next day and my modelling paste has completely dry and I'm using my heat tool to heat up my embossing powder. So now that my paint is completely dry on my page, I'm trimming away the extra paper over the edges of my journal page. Now I'm using my Distress ink to go around the border of my journal page. I didn't think the Distress ink was bright enough so I'm now using the same colour in my Distress paint to go around the edges of my journal page. So now I'm using my Distress glaze over my image of my gorgeous girl which I got from an old calendar that I had. So 
So next I'm using my alphabet stamps and my archival ink from Ranger to stamp out my quote. Once the ink had dried, I am now using my distress paint to colour over the top of my quote. So now I am using my matte gel to stick down my tissue paper which I stamped my border image on and I am just applying it all around the border. So now I'm using my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick down my image because the image is actually on quite thick card and the Cosmic Shimmer glue works really well. So next I am using my matte gel to completely cover the whole of my image. This will help to seal it. I am now using my matte medium to cover the whole of my quote to help it stick down and to seal it. So now I'm using different colours of my archival inks and my stencils just to add a bit more interest to my background. So now I'm using my Faber Cascal Pit Pen um, Black to just go around all the lines on my border. I'm now using my white Signo gel pen to colour the inside of the flowers. Now I'm using my Faber Cascal Pit Pen Sepia to add some shadow to my gorgeous girl. I am using the same pen and I'm just going round the edges of my quote just to add some shadow. So now I am using my black pit pen to go around the edges of my quote to give it a box effect. So now I am just adding the date and I will use my fixative spray outside to seal it. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.